So in this video, I'm going to talk about the general structure of a vertebrae, or also the vertebrae anatomy. So first, we have the body of the vertebrae, which is also called the centrum. And so the vertebral body, vertebral body is right over there. And so the body is essentially a mass of spongy bone that also contains red bone marrow. And it's covered by a thin shell of compact bone. So there's compact bone on the outside. And then the body is also the weight bearing portion of the vertebra. Next, we have the vertebral foramina, which is just this hole right here. And so essentially what that does is it allows, it forms the vertebral canal and it protects the spinal cord. So the spinal cord is actually will be running in there. And so next, what we're going to talk about are the vertebral arches. And so the vertebral arches have two processes, the transverse process, which is right here, this little thing, as well as the spinous process, which is right here. And so the spinous is always going to be directed posteriorly and downward, while the transverse extends laterally. And so these processes uh, provide attachment points for ligaments and muscles. Next, we have the superior articular process. And so this projects upward. And so as you can see, it's labeled right here. So it projects upward from one vertebrae and meets a similar pair of inferior articular processes projecting downward from the spinous process of the vertebrae just above. And so you can kind of see that right over here where they meet. And so it's important to remember that each process has a flat articular surface, which is called a facet, that faces the adjacent vertebrae. And so these processes restrict the twisting of the spine, which can obviously damage the spinal cord. And then finally, the last thing I want to mention are intervertebral discs. And so they're essentially the pads they're essentially pads consisting of a gelatinous core, and it's surrounded by a ring of fibrocartilage. And so the purpose of the discs are they help bind adjacent vertebrae and support the weight of the body, as well as absorb shock. And so they're pretty important. And so you can see them right there, the intervertebral discs. And they essentially just separate each vertebrae, kind of like a sandwich. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.